We are here in the finals of the Tulsa Store Championship. Some might even call them grand. At the Covenant Store, they are grand. We have Sasha on the right, we got Jeremy on the left, we got Tim in the booth, we got Steven in the booth. Hi guys. And uh, we are going to watch what is probably going to be a really crazy finals because Sasha's got to win twice to do anything. And Jeremy is here undefeated, so obviously quite capable of winning any right. any game that he's playing. Yeah. Uh, we have Replicating Perfection, a deck that's seen a lot of success and play since Dan uh, I, piloted it I to Worlds. It's pretty good. It's a very good deck. Now, one thing to note and be interested in is that Jeremy's running this with Grail Ice, mm -hmm. which I think is crazy, I personally. Uh, but it seems to work for him, and a lot of players are experimenting with this as well. It's really yeah. just kind of an exercise in the deck's incredible. Can I make it more incredible marginally? Uh, and maybe Grail is the answer to that. And then Sasha... Gaining some money and KDing up and doing the whole thing. He knows this is going to be a long economic slog, so he is getting some long-term econ set up. He's going to drop the plat screen and not care. It's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jeremy's Sea Scorch replicating deck. I You could do anything out of that deck. I think it'd be just fine. She's taking three credits. Taking some money. Sasha going to draw it up. And now something to keep an eye on, of course. Oh, Fairy, such a great card against uh, replicating. Let you face check those servers early, not worry about Kamainus or Sarugis, uh, of which I'm worried about both as a player. Yes. All the time. Virtually all the time. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of runners uh, like Andy and Kate's are getting away from the data sucker parasite thing. So it really just positions that RP ice, that low strength, super taxing sentry stuff to uh, come back into the fold. And Switchblade, the obvious answer, but I don't think that Sasha's running stealth here. Yeah, Do you? I, don't, I don't think he is either. He's, he's Sasha a, doesn't strike me as a stealth kind of guy. He's not. He's a. He is a. He's a GCD kind of guy. He is. He keeps it uh, simple and clean. He makes good trades, and he doesn't spend more money than he should on anything. And he, uh, he's a fan of the basics, yeah, fundamentals. The fun. He's a fundamental player. Yes. All right, two. We're going to HQ here. Oh, and, Galahad. Oh, there's Galahad. And this could be a problem. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Blows up the fairy. That's a great... Well, I take back everything I said about Grail Ice. It's over. I take it back. Uh, and then he can't run anything else. Can't run again. Wow, that was incredible for Jeremy. Boy, Grail Ice never works for me like this. It never works for me like this. You never have that much in your hand at the end of the second turn. Well, sometimes you do. <laughs> sometimes you do. Well, <laughs> well, you see. You got to play it and you got to have it. I mean, it's just like... Eh, he's already seen... Three pieces of Grail Ice there. It's a third of it. Maybe a little bit less than that. Yeah. Because of Excalibur, but... Goodness. Goodness, Jeremy. Clinics. Clinics. Early Galahad. Galahad is my favorite, I think. That two res cost is so nice. Man, getting rid of that fairy is actually just... It's huge. Significant. He's only got two more of those things. It's just significant. Is he going to special order for a... F no, no mimic. Nobody... Nobody likes to play you criminals. It's just they play this little tiptoey game. Just install your sentry breaker and don't worry about anything anymore. Did you just do that for once? Just once? How did you do in this tournament, Steven? <laughs> I, I took a little experimental jazz in this one. <laughs> a real experimental. I was playing the wrong notes. <laughs> Why don't they just play the right notes? Why don't ones? they just play the right notes? Sobbing. You know what else is weird? Like, and this is true for most uh, criminal decks. Running like one copy of the breakers, you know, mm -hmm. it's like that's cool. Until but like, gets it, trashed. I mean, if he eats a Merlin there and just gets his corroder trashed, oops, you know, whoops. I think that's why he is. Uh, he put the brakes on. He, he may have put some brakes on. Yeah. As soon as I see a grill, I say put the brakes on. Yeah, because he can't break all. No, of it's them. true. Yeah, because then you got to get a full rig out before you can run anything again. It's the worst. I like how you said, why don't you just get your century breaker out and run? And that's what he did and lost the century breaker. <laughs> I just caught that. In my no, head. fairy is not a century breaker. This it is, is this little this little criminal wispy. It's the safety net, man. Yeah, it's, it's a the best safety net. It's, not, it's we the can't best century breaker. breaker. That's a, it's a mockery. I still need to build my uh, recurring fairy deck. Please do. Sacrificial constructs. Mm. I'm sure that's way better than just running Switchblade. <laughs> Well, you're running out of shaper. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's fair. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Is that two feature prefix in hand or three? Well, two. It's 
security testing doing some work here. <laughs> we could have seen uh, Excalibur. We still could maybe see Excalibur on archives, which is hilarious. Excalibur on archives is the best thing ever yeah. against RP it's just, and security testing. It's just the greatest. T was Corotor. Two clicks left for Sasha. He's he's saying you should hear him muttering. I don't know if you guys can hear that. He's Sasha's literally just talking to himself this whole time. He just keeps saying Lance a lot. That's why we, that's why we call him the mutterer. <laughs> <laughs> Unloading Katie. That's bizarre. I wouldn't have guessed that if you if you'd have given me money to guess, and then he takes a credit. Yeah, I think you just load Katie. Take a credit and then you get three. Yeah, I don't think he has to worry about any trashies. Any trashies? No. A little snatch and grab, scorch. If you played snatch and grab, that would be the best. Thing. Uh, snatch and grab, kill that, Katie. Man, I had that played against me the other day, and I think the dude was convinced that it meant that I would not take the tag and would just trash a resource. And I was like, okay, I'll just take the tag. And then he realized he didn't even have the money left. After the trace to trash the resource. That's terrible. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Alright, so it installs another one in a remote and leaving Jackson there. Of course you you gotta go get Jackson off the board. You have to run a central first though. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Did you forget about that? Alright, man, I'm convinced on this grail thing. I'm convinced. <laughs> I take it all back. This is a mistake that is correct. But you don't get ELP, man. Like I bet we could fit one in there. Maybe yeah. two. We can bust it open later and look at it if you want. Sounds all right. We got to get ready for regionals. Andromeda with a Desperado. There it is. Breaking new grounds. Click, click. Cool. Sasha counting. He does the count finger twirl all the time. It's a Sasha classic. That's what we call him the twirler. Jeremy building some real good servers here. And there's the account siphon. That's ballsy. Oh no, he discards the account it, yeah. seven. Okay, it's like, whoa, what are you doing, man? Drawing two for Jackson, and we're gonna get these future. So he's three future perfect yeah, in hand and the same mark too. They're about to come right out of hand. And definitely loading up on Grail Ice too. That's how you, you just hate to see Jackson over here. Gains a credit, gonna discard some stuff. Probably three future perfects, if I was a guess. Some Maginus. Look at Mr. Lee. Sasha running Mr. Lee, man. So many people just dog on that card. I love that card. Three in install cost is pretty steep. Are you running it? No. <laughs> I don't have room for it. Yeah, I, I know, want it, right? though. He that's, just made the room. That's when Netrunner's in a good place, is when you want the cards and you can't have them. Because they're all good. I like that. That's really smart. Gordian. All right. Okay, and boy... Chucking that fairy, having a huge impact. No face checking happening. I'm liking Jeremy's position right now. Oh, it's incredible. Don't forget, it's, it's the shovel, though. I mean, it's Sasha's... I know. Soul... Soul, like, uh, point in life. Not it's, another agenda. It's not what you want to see. Well, there it is. At least you got Jacko on the board. Yeah. But there's already three in archives. Didn't take his hand off. Nope. Card laid. Was not laid. He's a card blade. There it there is. There it is. He's going to owe a few cards. Ten credits. Boy, he's he's a couple runs away from just breaking the bank. Could be looking for a celebrity gift here. here we go. Tough. Putting something into Jackson there. Probably an ash. Look like an ash. Probably discard an interns here. Oh, one of the grails. That's fair. Okay. But he kept the enigma? Is that an enigma? Or am I edge? Nah, I can't see it, man. There's no way. Could be that Excalibur. It kind of looks <clears throat> the same. That's fair. Did you take three off, Katie? Going to get the Mimic. He's doing what I wanted, finally. Yeah, just go get the Breaker. He needs all three to break grail, though. I... 
Jeremy may have, I don't know that he could have, to be honest, but would have liked to see some early pressure. Like that remote was so scorable for a long time. Just even off of not wanting to face check stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe Pop Jackson and Pritanese in there last turn or something, a couple turns ago. Jeremy knows what he's doing. He is in the finals. But man, you know what happens when that Nisei gets scored. Game is all but one. All right, running, running security testing, archives. And he's taking three credits. All right, so the archives showdown has happened. The archives showdown, classic. And Jeremy archives decided showdown. not to play ball. So right now. Jeremy's ice is all breakable. Yes. It's all broken. Yes. Which is a bad thing. Man, draws a game with Jackson. It's wild. There's a hedge fund. I think he's just been digging for money here. Now it's just going to be a tax game. We're going to see some classic net runner here. Everything's going to get broken. And installs in the remote. So now I think Jeremy's going to be looking for Sashi to break himself on these centrals. He's going to throw that Nisei over there in that remote and... Pray for rain. You have to discard interns here, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, security testing moves over to MedTech. One is Archives. That's definitely going to get Jackson off the board. I don't know if we're going to see any ice. No ice res. One for Desperado. Sees the old Wall of Thorns and Interns. Why Wall of Thorns? Just barely squeaking it in those deck lists. It's so expensive for a 5 strength barrier. It really is, man. But Jinteki's got it. It costs 5 to break if you want to break them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're paying 8 for them to pay 5. Or you can play Eli where you're paying 3 for them to pay 4. It's pretty good. But you know, it just it just fills a slot. It's one of those like I'm sure Jinteki will get a better, a better uh, slot filler. I don't know for that. Jinteki has to have a weakness. It's true. I honestly wonder if Ashigaru should go in that slot. I call me crazy. I've been playing with it oh, a few different builds in RP, and it's just so expensive. To, to res? Mm -hmm. It's only one more than Maw Thorns. It's also expensive to res. Yeah. Install new remote and gain two. Jeremy playing a bit of a long game here. He's not, not pressuring stuff. He knows what's up. Yeah. He really has to... Sasha's just got to go all in here. But you kind of want to... You kind of want to force the game before he gets his... Stuff set up, whether it's his interfaces or he draws into his account siphons or what have you. Or the data sucker. That's that's bad. There's the Baco. It's another filler slot really. Yep. Especially Baco. You know, you wanna you wanna force him to install the corroder and he Sasha led with the corroder, which because of Galahad. I'll tell you what, Galahad certainly makes Baco less good. I don't even know if you need it with Galahad. Yeah. I, I don't either. You know, the problem with Grail, and this is, as a man who's trying to make Grail work in a lot of places, and, and I mean, not try is maybe a bit dramatic, because it has worked a lot of places, but you gotta hold, basically two, two card slots are dead in your hand for Grail Ice. And then you're you're holding an agenda, maybe and maybe two agendas, and then it's like you don't have any room left, you know. Yeah. So you've got to play play out your hand pretty much every yeah, turn. That makes sense. It's especially bad. You can't play Grail in any kind of a combo style deck, and like a mid seasons type mm -hmm. thing or punitive. That scorched. doesn't work. It just does not work. Falls flat. I think it works in a deck like this, but it's just so. Fragile? I don't know if that's the right word or not, but there's Fairy. Three's gonna be HQ. Just for, just for a peek. You don't see this a lot. 
Usually it's something fancier. He didn't play that laundry, did he? Did he dirty laundry? I don't know. There's the Lancelot. In the Ron Trasher program. Well, you gotta break that. Broken. It's gonna continue. God, look at this tax. Cost him six to get in and see a Caprice. It's fine. I know. Yeah, yeah. All right, here comes the side game. I think that I'm Jeremy. I bid two here. You know, I found that as the runner, you never bid two. You, you should. I mean, I actually have once to steal a future perfect. That was hilarious. But you, ah. Yeah, I think yeah. you do too. I think you should bid two. Yeah, because you, you're on top of the tax here. And you have point. two genes in hand. Lands a lot in tragic caprice. Boy, that's that's tough to lose that first side game with Caprice. But hey, man, she's run the game, so you know. She's what? She's run the game. Yeah. You remember the sky is falling. I do remember. Oh, that. Caprice Nisei. She's fine. That run is over. See you later. It's not true, guys. It's not true. At totally all. fine. Totally fine. Is she annoying? Yeah. Yeah. Ash is way more broken. Yeah, I don't know of anything in the game that isn't annoying. That's good. And it's all good. I mean, mm -hmm. Grail Ice is annoying. Shards are annoying. Breakers are annoying as the corp. And here's the I remote think I res this ice. Like, just make him spend the money. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. Spin three for two. I'll take it. Keeping going. Boy, look at Sasha got this rig up and running pretty quick, didn't he? Yeah. All right. Pop the fairy. Pay four. This is your window if you choose to. Okay, no reds. Why not? It's a red this part. You're not going to red this. So if that is Caprice, this is your window. You must. No. Now. Okay. Now you can ask Caprice after that. You can, but it won't trigger. Oh, yeah? Because you've already passed all of the ice, so she never triggers. Oh, nice. That's good to know. Yeah. It's kind of important. I would like to ferry through it. Would you like red? I'll gain a credit. I'll access it. He gains a credit and accesses Ash. All right, so now Sasha down to four. This is a decent little opportunity. To four? Mimic, Mimic going to have to pay four. Oh, there he goes. What are you, what are you four in? Never mind. Those are fives. Uh, those are fives. They always look like twos. Yeah. Sasha, get some tokens. <laughs> I, t I tell him all the time when I'm he comes to our store and it's like no one can understand your tokens, man. Come on, you don't have to get ours. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but look like twos. Do they not look like twos? They do. Look like twos. Did he just put an Issei in that server? <laughs> no, that's Sundu. Or is oh. it the, the far server? He didn't. No. Okay. Anyway. All right, there's Sundu. So we're gonna get this economy online. Servers are still definitely annoying. They're annoying, but they're edible. Mm -hmm. You know, like Sasha can get in, so he can look at some siphon stuff. He can look at R and D here. Looks pretty tasty on four credits for Jeremy. He'll be on six though. Interfa I mean, interface run is not bad here. Get a little pressure going. Check in security testing. I think it's, yeah. Put it over there. Likes it. How you feeling right now, Tim? Who's who's up here? I think that Sasha's up here. He can just break everything. Yeah, he does this weird... He's got Katie for long-term economy. Desperado also helps with long-term economy. <clears throat> like, he's not in want for anything. Yeah. The, the trick is going to be to balance the Katie economy... And not breaking yourself, you know, not giving the scoring windows. Right. Putting Sundu in your scoring survey here is kind of a bummer. You have to do it, though. You got to, but you're playing a long game. You're definitely playing a long game now. And Katie Desperado kind of hurts. Sasha's got all of his econ. Doesn't need to draw for much of anything. I'm sure he's got Siphon in hand at this point. Math would say yes. A leg work could be nice. Cost six to gain ten, but he's got to shake the tags. 
Boy, there's a lot going on here. All right, there it is. And there we go. Trashing in, it's cost him three. Gain the sucker token. Two tags. He's not gonna be able to shake these tags. Oh, there he goes. He's doing them back. He's doing the clickies backwards. I see. Blurred. All right, so shut down Sarugi. Boy, that's a pretty good economic turn there for Sasha. He's got a gift in hand, but can you show him two Nisei's? Oh, that's tough, man. You 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 got to be so worried about legwork. You almost ha have to hope he doesn't have it and just take the money. That's I a bummer know. too, because it's like it's credit celebrity gift. Mm -hmm. That's a tough turn, man. I think that I would do it, but I would feel terrible about it. Yeah, you would do it, and then after the game, you'd be like, "I shouldn't have done that," because then he legworked my nieces. I think uh, he's doing it. Sasha. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we knew two, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Jeremy, back in the money, but, but is that going to give Sasha an opportunity to legwork this uh, hand? This is I crazy. I want with all of my soul Sasha not to have legwork. Even here. with Mr. Just Lee. Tech, I mean, there. Mr. Lee on the board, he could even Mr. Lee <clears throat> three times and try to get in there. There it, it is. He's it. got it. Oh, my goodness. Massive. Oh, that's massive. It's problematic, Tim. This is problematic. He needs Sasha to miss hard here. Just whiff. Okay. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, my oh, body. No. My body. It hurts. Uh, oh, Sasha's got to be feeling good here. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. I think that was... Uh, well, it's exactly what we said. I mean, it's exactly... You do it, and you feel bad about it, and then that's... That's the risk you take. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. It hurts my soul. Do you check R&D here now? Nah, not with that money. I mean... I'm going to go ahead and trash the clinic. It's fine, I guess. Hey. That's another gift. Jackson Howard, probably going to gift again here, huh? Yeah. Not show the NAPD? I mean, show the NAPD. <laughs> That's true. All right, Sasha, absorbing the knowledge. Man, losing two Nisei Mark IIs, I, I don't know that RP can function off of this. It, it can... It's just different. That first Nisei, like, it's not quite the first Astro, but it, it kind of is. You really only need one Nisei. You gotta have one. To just secure the game. I Two mean, is insane. But. Otherwise, he's looking at, what, two NAPDs and a Future Perfect. Mm -hmm. and it's like, Which is doable. It's doable. I've it's won plenty doable. of games that are that way. There are some games you just don't see it. Yeah, it's true. All right, suckers are going. At this point, there is no tax. I mean, Data Sucker has got this thing. Well, rolling. the tax is the amount of subroutines. Yeah. It's not the strength. Yeah, that's true. I'd like to see Sasha just lower the KD somewhere in here. Just to prepare. Yeah, he probably needs to start getting ready for that. Install an upgrade, probably a Caprice there. We saw it in hand earlier. Puts Baco back in hand. Cost him one. And installing a new piece of ice. Would love it if it was that Himitsu Baco again. <laughs> That'd be funny. Gotcha. Definitely needs a bigger tax on archives, so that's reasonable. Doing a future perfect last turn. Which is good. Like, you, you need that to. Yep. You're fine, you're fine. You're good. And building the server. And next turn, I think, is probably going to install Vance Advance. 
Yeah, he's a he's a he's got a huge economic advantage right now. Sasha has a couple of options. I think he can try to basically leverage that economic advantage. Look, go into Mr. Lee, maybe get some economy cards, start looking at dirty laundry, security testing, sure gamble, those kinds of things. Make it a little more stressful. Galahad, just trashing. All right, so trash. So that that may tell Sasha that we're one subroutine down on these guy on these ice. I mean, I think that you just know that because he installed it. Yeah, unless I mean Jeremy could be being wily. I guess Sasha saw his hand last time. I'd have to have looked at it harder to know for sure. That's tough. That's minus two credits to to get in there. He's essentially netting a credit and a death brother. Yeah, or a data sucker. And, and has HQ for that NAPD if he wants to try to shoot for it. I think that's probably incorrect. Yeah. Man. I think you should install Advance Advance of Future Perfect here over the Sundew. Oh, yeah? Man, that's where you put it on the line, isn't it? And just play the Caprice game. Well, he's using Jackson. Jeremy always liking to go for more cards. Install on a remote. And it looks like we got one click left. Do you not know where he's going to go? What? Another piece of ice. That's so much money. Can he res those things? Well, we see three Galahads. We see a Lancelot on the board. We know there's one in hand. We haven't seen any Merlins, which are very expensive. Are they six to res? I believe they're six. Six res, yeah. And... I guess Gordian, yeah, it's pretty taxing for Gordian, so it, yeah, I don't know. We get one more turn of Sundew, at least. Assuming that it's remembered. He already gained it. He gained it. But Merlin actually not doing much, really, with these data sucker tokens. Pay two, gain three. Pretty pretty good math. Sasha has not seen anything off R&D here. What we got there? I think it's the mental health clinic. Mental health clinic stays. I mean, Jerry has so much money right now. Three is Katie. There's Katie. Three is Katie. Keep building. She got nine on her now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have poked R and D by now. Yeah, it's tempting for sure. Jackson gets used for celebrity gift, Ash, and celebrity gift, money, money, money. I should say hedge fund. Minus one celebrity gift, plus one hedge fund. Makes sense. This is kind of a gentleman's game, isn't it? Yeah. I feel very relaxed. It's that bonobo on in the background. That's right. Sarugi. Jeremy draws into Sarugi. That's a good card. Forgot to res the health clinic, and Sasha says, whatevs. They're nice guys. Gentleman's game. Yeah, Sasha had that happen uh, earlier in the tournament, and mm -hmm. there was no worries there, so. Install over Sundew. That's the only NAPD if I've ever seen it. And here comes Katie. First click Katie. This is correct. Yeah, I love this play. Love this play. Ah. Well, that makes it safe. I mean, that means that that remote is definitely going to be... I wish that that was future perfect over there. Totally safe, yeah. You're right. <clears throat> and no res on the other one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 
All right, so scores points. Definitely the right choice. I mean, I would rather pay zero to get two points than whatever mess is waiting for me in that remote. Yeah. Man, tough. I don't know how Jeremy has a way out of this. Plays another security testing. Interesting. R rarely seen. With that mental health clinic, though, up. Just makes sense. And there's the NAPD score. Nisei. Yeah, it'd be very nice, wouldn't it? This game is much different. But it's not. All right, there goes security testing. So we've got double security testing. Now, a lot of players are probably not aware that this is a possibility. It is. It is. Spoiler alert. All right, so pan two to gain three. Click three, running the uh, the additional security testing. So now there's a lot of money happening, and we go back into R and D. This is a great, great bit of pressure that Sasha's putting on here. It has really blown up. I think he just res this ice. Merlin, yeah, yeah, it's a bummer. It's just not great. Cascordian, what two? Yeah, man, that's... Ah, look at that. Boy, taking time bomb here. How does Jeremy shore this up? It's all Vance Vance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, Sasha's on, what, 15 here? I don't think you can tax him. You just play the Caprice, Caprice huh? game, man. I think that's what, like, you're you're so leveraged against you right now. Just hope for the best. You just have to. Almost. Play Caprice and go zero? Maybe. Or go two. Yeah, but if he knows you need it, he but knows. No one ever goes two. <laughs> uh, See, so still trying to shore up servers. I think you're right. I think Jeremy has to tilt here. Tough to say. I don't know what piece of ice kind of changes the way that this is going. Surprise Archer. Didn't do anything. I feel like that those two outermost pieces of ice on his win server maybe should have gone on a completely new server. And he should have kept the Sundu in that server. Yeah. So he's just generating money this whole time. Maybe. Going into HQ, we're going to see Future Perfect. At least it's going to cost him six. Five with Desperado in tow. Access is a car. This could be the game. I saw one in hand here. Future Perfect. Not it. That's good. I'm not saying it's good. I think Sasha just sticks to R and D here. Is he about to shut down to Merlin? Maybe. Security testing. Airware. All right, running the remote with. I, I like this. Going ahead and going down and mm -hmm. trashing Caprice potentially. So Rigi costs four. That's the first real tax we've seen. It's a good tax mm -hmm. at this stage of the game, mid to late. We saw some early Grail tax happening, but it's been pretty easily handled until now. I almost would not rest that Surugi, but the one that's on the innermost, so he doesn't gain any extra information. Does he have one on the innermost? Yeah, that's the one he shut down earlier. Oh, bummer. Remember? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> run, run, run. Here's the Caprice game. This is critical. Jeremy needs to win this one. I think he goes two. I'd go one. So he knows that you need to go two. No, you only have four credits. He doesn't think he'll go two. Okay. Well, well done, Tim. I've played a one or two side game. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Shut down is so brutal. Yeah, it is, man. Sasha got a lot of control of this thing. That remote has folded. 
Three credits, going to five. Uh, nasty, man. <laughs> Working hard for that data sucker token there. But it opens up the second security testing. So Sasha now, I, definitely going to outpace this economy without something drastic happening. And he's really just going for the game here. We're going to see two cards. Kill Sundu. And scored. Boom. Boom. The, the last you say, all right. Whoa, baby. So we've got a final match in the finals. We get a rematch between Sasha and Jeremy. Can Kit take down in the future yet again to make Jeremy the champion? Incredible games by these guys. I was just kind of in awe that entire time watching. Yeah. And I hope you guys were too. Catch us at the final finals uh, here coming up. Thanks, guys. See you guys later. Bye.